Hello everybody and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be talking about quite a serious subject today. Makeup and cosmetics is usually lots of fun. But in light of all the natural disasters that the whole planet has experienced recently, I thought that I will do a quick video on packing your emergency survival pack. Now this is something that I personally have had for many, many years. And in fact, if you go onto the SES website, which is the, um, and I'll put the link on the page as well, they have what they recommend that every household should have an emergency pack that has all your survival basics, batteries, um, lamps, all sorts of things. And I do have that as well with basic food um, items in, in there as well. So in case of a natural disaster, you can just grab this bag and go. If you have to go to an emergency evacuation centre, you have something there with you. But I've always had a beauty emergency pack as well. And while a lot of my friends, when I first mention it to them, laugh at me going, oh, that's typical of you, Olivia. It is actually a really good idea. When the earthquakes happened in New Zealand, um, a lot of people were turning up to evacuation centres putting so much pressure on the resources that they actually made an announcement that if people can bring their toothbrushes and their toothpaste with them, it would really help the emergency services out. And that is something that I've always had in my beauty emergency pack because I think that not only if in case of a, an emergency, a disaster, not only do you need food and water, but you also need the basics to actually feel a little bit human. So this is a really good opportunity for you to talk to your friends and I've in fact um, have spoken to a lot of my friends and we compare notes on what we have in our emergency packs and these packs get updated once a year. So usually around January I update mine because it's easy for me to remember. So I thought I'll go through and show you what I've got in my pack so in case I need to grab it quickly and leave the house, I st still can you know, maintain looking good uh, without going over the top, of course. You need to think about that it, your pack has to be light and you need to be able to carry it with you. So when it comes to putting together your pack, um, think about the basics that you will need, such as what they've mentioned to people, having your toothpaste and your toothbrush ready to go. Um, I keep all of this sort of in a watertight container so it you know, stays nice and hygienic. But your toothpaste and toothbrush are, of course, an a obvious choice. Then I've also got a little fresh breath spray because, um, well, you know, if, if you are working, digging out through the rubble, you want to stay fresh, which brings me to my next product that I have, and that's a deodorant stick. I think it's best to, use a or best to have a deodorant stick rather than an aerosol because... Uh, for obvious reasons, you can't take aerosol cans on planes and who knows where you're going to end up with. So I like the, um, the sticks, so, but it's, of course it's your personal choice. Then um, another thing that I've got in my pack is a bug spray. A bug, this is actually a cream. Again, you can get the aerosol cans, but for the same reason, I prefer this one. This is the off um, bug cream. Again, um, you know, mosquito-borne diseases are quite prevalent in areas of disasters. So, you know, try and think ahead of the things that you will need in case you lose everything. There's no shops open. What will you need to survive? So bug spray, to me, that's quite important. Then, um, of course, sunscreen is really important because, again, you could be out in the elements. You don't want to be burnt to a crisp. It's a lot easier to prevent it. And for this, I've actually chosen the Invisible Zinc, which is a four-hour water-resistant um, sunscreen. It stays on the skin and it doesn't irritate my skin as well. It's a fantastic product. So it's chemical-free. So again, you can use this for uh, children as well. So the other thing that I thought about when putting together my pack is things that I can use for other people as well, to share it with, with others who don't have their packs there with them, and also um, products that have multi-purpose multi uses as well, because you don't want to take a whole heap of stuff, you just want to take the bare minimum. So that, to me, is quite important. One thing that I have picked up talking to my friends 
um, which in hindsight seems ridiculous that I didn't think of it, is feminine hygiene products. I didn't even think of it. But, you know, this is why it's good to talk to your friends and, and compare ideas. So as soon as um, we spoke about it, I went out and got myself a pack of tampons, which of course, you know, come handy once a month. So whatever you use, go and have it. And then the other thing that I thought about is, of course, if we don't have water and you need to clean yourself, um, these feminine cleansing wipes are a brilliant idea. Um, you can get different sprays and wipes and all sorts of things, but the reason I love these is because they come in little sachets. It weighs nothing um, and it's hygienic. You know, it's um, easy to tear open and just clean yourself. So once again, try and think about all the scenarios that you might be going through if there's no water and you still need to clean and keep yourself hygienic. Brilliant idea. Okay, next one. Um, dry shampoo. You, again, if you don't have uh, water, you still don't have to stink and smell. So dry shampoo. To me, that's really, really important um, because you don't need water to clean your hair with it. Another thing that I thought of is it's both myself and my husband that I need to pack for. So um, he needs to shave. I need to shave my legs, perhaps. So shaving products that both of us can use. So I've chosen um, a really sturdy uh, shaver which is a five blade shaver, so it's really good, and then a sensitive skin um, spray, um, foam. So I can use this for myself and my husband can also use it. We can share, in, n not normally, we don't normally share, but in case of emergency, yes, you can share. We will make do. Now, um, a couple of other things that I've picked up, are talking about um, hygiene as well, is biodegradable wipes. This is from Whatnot. Um, brilliant little wipes. And of course, it comes in a reusable uh, pouch that you can, once you've used them, you can refill them. So this is brilliant. I've kept it sealed, so it's uh, watertight. Um, because it's biodegradable, you're not harming the environment as well. But these, I find, are really nice and moist and they will take off all your makeup. You can refresh yourself with it. So the wipes, I think, are a really good idea to have with you. A couple of little comfort things that I thought about. If you're in an emergency center and you have trouble sleeping, of course, because you'd be there with hundreds of other people, a little travel candle, I thought, was essential, which comes in a little tin. You can just light it next to your hammock, perhaps. Um, and it just gives you a little feeling of peace and a little feeling of home. So that's just a little comfort thing. But then the other thing that I've got is a sleeping mask. Again, we don't know what sort of conditions we might be under. So there might be a lot of light. Um, so a sleeping mask. And while you're packing it, why not pack a fun one? So let me show you mine. This is so gorgeous. It says sleeping beauty. So they will not have any problem picking me out from the crowd <laughs> where I'm sleeping. So this is a gorgeous little one. So sleeping mask. The other thing that I've got, and I love this, is my little travel pillow, which of course goes around your neck. The reason I love this, it has um, a string, and I've actually got this tied to my bag on the outside. So you don't have to pack it on the inside. This ties to the outside. And then I've always got my little pillow with me. So just trying to think about, you know, how would you feel if you didn't have anything there with you? A couple of other things that I've got um, is uh, these, um, it's a luxury facial flannel from the body shop. Great for, you know, washing, doesn't take up a lot of space. It comes in a little resealable um, container. And so you can pop it in there, you just wet it with water and you can wash with that brilliant little product and then a little um it's a little exfoliator buffer so if you're in the shower you can just scrub your skin you might be absolutely dirty and filthy so and it weighs nothing so really why not have it in your pack so those are uh, my little luxury things i've got this one um product in my pack because this is an all-in-one 
it's from Pure One, it's certified organic, and it's a cleanser, it's an eye makeup remover, a day cream, an eye cream, a neck cream, a body lotion, so you can use this one product for everything. If you do prefer to use several different products, then this is a brilliant idea to go out and get yourself a little travel kit. Um, this is one from Sukin. Um, it's gorgeous getaways and it's got the miniature size of all your skincare products. So it's got your cleanser, it's got your shampoo, your conditioner, your moisturizer and even a hydrating toner. So great to keep those, you know, little travel packs. That's one which I really like because I really love the products. And then the other one that I love and they come in little packs is from Organic Spa and there's two different ones. You can get this one which is the Body Basics. It's got the shampoo and conditioner, uh, moisturizer and body wash, body moisturizer and body wash. And then the other one has all your um, facial essentials, your gel mask, your exfoliant, your cleanser, your moisturizer. If you get a chance, you know, in that condition to do a mask, well, it's handy to have there. A couple of other things that I have in my pack which I find essential for me is from Pavonia, it's a um, aromatic mist to spray your face. If it really calms me down, it helps me. And then I've also got a tension relief gel. Again, they're travel sizes, so they don't weigh much, and I've got space for them in my bag. What else? Okay, a couple of other things, just really quickly, I'll show you. Um, this one, Total Ole, um, Ole Total Effects. Um, it's a moisturizer with a foundation in it. So again, it gives you your sun protection and a little bit of color to your face. So use products that do two things. That's in my pack. And then the other things that I have is a tinted lip balm from um, Invisible Zinc again. I don't think I'll be using a lot of makeup in cases of emergency, um, but you know, it's a sunscreen for your lips as well. Plus it gives you a little bit of color. Why look feral when you don't have to? And then I've also got a tinted day wear um, medium. And that's again, a little travel size, so it weighs nothing pop it into my bag and that way when I'm all prepared then I can share it with others as well. So I hope these products have given you a little bit of an idea. I believe that everybody should have an emergency pack not only for your food and water and basic necessities but also your hygiene and your uh, beauty products as well. Not because we're vain but really to stay hygienic. So talk to your friends, compare notes, put your own pack together and uh, let me know what you've got. I'd love to see other people's packs because I of course learn from it as well. So I hope you found this beneficial and I will see you next time. Bye bye.